Hey there guys, this is uh, Sergeant Welsh bringing you my first tutorial of how to create a buy menu image for Counter-Strike Source. And what you're uh, first going to want to do is open up your Source SDK, open up Model Viewer. Uh, scroll down till you find the weapons folder right here then uh, scroll down once more until you find uh, your model you're looking for in this case I am looking for w rifle aug ndl <clears throat> and that is what I have right here make sure it has W in front of it because that is the world model of your gun if you get the V model of it you'll have hands connected to it you don't want that as a buy menu image unless you really want to and now to uh, now that you've got this open, you can uh, move it around. Uh, if you want to get rid of those lines in front, which you most likely do, go to click on the attachments tab and then click on none in the left uh, the left little white box. And then to uh, move it around, as I am now, to rotate it, just uh, left click and drag it around. To uh, rot to uh, zoom in and out, hit right click and uh, go up and down with your mouse. And to uh, move it around like I just did horizontally, hold down Shift and then drag it with left click. What I'm doing now is uh, changing the background color to white. Um, you go to Options, Background Color, and you can change it to wherever you want. I do this to make it easier for me in Photoshop to uh, remove the background. Once you have your good angle in uh, V, in, um, in that, you're gonna want to hit Print Screen, and then open up Photoshop, and do File New, and then copy and paste your printed screen into here. Get your selection tool out and cut that out. And now what you're going to want to do is uh, open that up in a new one. Paste that into your uh, new image, and now what I do here is I you need to create a new image, but in this case it has certain size restrictions. You need width to be 512 and height and length, excuse me, to be 256. So 512 by 256. And now right here, what I do is I just uh, I get my I get my scar image moved into the 512 by 256. The most important thing for you to remember, there's two most important things to remember right here, is the size of the image itself has to be 512 by 256, and uh, as long as you can fit your gun inside that, inside that, you'll be okay. But try not to have it maximized into the actual image because there will be some overlay with the actual image and the lines within the buy menu. And now, um, once I get this moved over into the, the 512 by 256 image, I'm going to have to edit the channels of, of the alpha channels. And the the thing about alpha channels is, before you do it, you want to um, select exactly what you want to have show up. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second here. You're going to want to select. Say you just most people just want their gun to be showing in the buy menu, buy menu image. So what you're going to want to do is select just your gun and then go to channels and then right here I create a new channel but that's not what you want to do. You actually want to hit the little button that is just left of that. It looks like a little uh, black, black gray square with a white circle within it. And that image that you see right there with just the black and white the white part is the my gun itself and that is what exactly is going to show up in Counter-Strike. If you want your gun to show up in Counter-Strike, make sure it's white in the, alpha, in the alpha channel that you created and make sure everything else is black because in Counter-Strike Source the black won't show up. And uh, save, your, save your finished little file here as a Targa. Name it whatever you want. And uh, to actually get this to work, I'm not sure where you have your file for the buy menu image saved. So um 
I can't exactly tell you where to save it. Um, in this case, I when I downloaded this custom scar off of FPS Banana, it already came with a buy menu image, but just for the sake of showing you guys how to do this, um, I went with this still and uh, created this. So I imported the target file into VTF Edit and then saved it as a VTF. I went into my materials, VGUI, graphics, and VGUI, and then I found the actual VTF image that will serve as my buy menu image originally, and I overwrote it with this one that I created. Again, just for the sake of showing you guys how to do all this. Um, if you need help finding where exactly to put your uh, custom buy menu image, I can't exactly help you right now because everyone's is different, but uh, I'm sure someone will be able to help you if you uh, just ask. Um, and uh, saved everything, closed everything out. Now I'm opening up Counter Strike. And, uh, to uh, save you guys some time here, skipped it, went up in here, and uh, found my rifle. <laughs>